Hi everybody, Susan here with Pumpkin Hill Stampers. I have a stamp and show and tell for you today, but first I want to make sure, do you all have your new catalogs? They went live on June 4th. Uh, if you don't have a demonstrator that supplies you with catalog, you are welcome to email me directly at susan at pumpkinhillstampers.com or you can go to my blog and link there and leave me a comment. And I'm happy to share catalogs with you. So today we are going to be casing a card direct from the catalog. We used to call the catalogs Catalog and Idea Book. They did that little title away with a few years ago, but it's still a great book for ideas and you can stamp the cards inside. So today we're using the Bird Ballad Suite. You obviously probably could have guessed that, um, as that's the suite I am featuring this month. We're going to be casing this card here. So it uses the... Um, Bird Ballad Laser Cut Cards in Tin. Okay, look at this beautiful tin that it comes in. And you get 12 laser cut cards in very vanilla with the envelopes. So that's fun all in and of itself. Use up the cards and reuse the tin. Or make a bunch of cards and give them as a gift. We're also going to be doing some stamping and some color with our blends. We're going to be using the new nested label dies. Okay, to create our little tag there. I also used the stitched circle die to make my circle for the focal point there. I do not have the bird ballad trinkets that they're using in the catalog, okay, which you get 24 pieces if you order the trinkets, which are little bows and flowers and keys and, and leaves. But in lieu of that, I'm using copper foil and the twig punch to create my little element there. And other than that, we just have to stamp color and put it together. So use your catalogs as idea books. Pick a card that you really love, um, get the supplies you need, and case it. And uh, I think that's fabulous. So we're going to be doing a bunch of these this month, but I'm going to start with this one. Okay, so first things first. Get all of our pieces together, right? So as you can see, I have my copper foil. I'm using Pool Party for the tag. I've got two pieces of very vanilla that I've cut the largest stitched circle die out of. So I have two of those. That's going to make our element here. Here is the laser cut card. Okay, so the front is very delicate. And then this envelope has a beautiful scalloped edge on there. Okay, so that make a beautiful card uh, for any occasion. I'm thinking maybe weddings, anniversaries. Um, but really any card that you really want a delicate look to. So there is the card we're going to be working with. So first things first, I have, like I said, die cut on pool party, one of these nested shaped dies. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp with memento on that. So the sentiment we're using today is the world needs more of you. So I'm just going to stamp that right down in the center. And then our sentiment tag will be ready. I'll put that to the side for a moment. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp our focal point here. So I've got three different colors I'm stamping in today. Old Olive, uh, Calypso Coral, and Crushed Curry. And then I'm going to color in some of those images with my blends with coordinating colors. So here we go. Okay, so first I started by stamping my leaves. I'm going to stamp and then I'm going to stamp off. So I want a hard solid leaf and then I want a lighter leaf. Okay, and I'm just going to stamp these kind of around. I'm going to do one more. The darker ones down there. Okay, so there's my leaf. Now I've got the large flower here and just like in our catalog I'm going to stamp a solid one here and I'm going to do another one kind of off to the side, stamped off a little bit. And then I'm going to take a piece of my scrap from where I cut out that circle. I'm going to stamp another one, which will we color, and then we will die cut. Not die cut, we'll fussy cut with our scissors. Okay, to create the little element there. So I'll put that aside for a minute. Then with the crushed curry, I'm going to stamp a nice solid one and then stamp off. And then this one's going to be hidden, so there's my solid one because I just want a stamped off one. And I'm going to repeat that right there. So it's going to be hidden when I put all that element together but I was able to do my stamp off right there. Okay, so there are our three colors. Now, 
like I said, I'm going to use my blends. So I don't have crushed curry blend. I don't even know that we sell a crushed curry blend, but I do have Daffodil Delight and they work well together. So I'm just going to color in this one flower for that. Then for the Clipso Coral, I'm going to do the darker flower here. Now on these, I want to try to stay inside my flower lines. If you go outside, go ahead and use your color lifter. Now for the scrap one, I'm going to go ahead and color my flower. But now here's a little tip. Go ahead and color over the line because this will work in a fussy cut. And to eliminate that vanilla edge, we can just color outside the line. I give you permission. And then when we fussy cut it, the edge will be um, clips of coral instead of very vanilla. So I'm just going to real quickly bring in here. So fussy cutting is not an exact um, line. It's just as close as you can get it. Um, some people like to have a bit of border around their images, depending on the images, I think. So however you're comfortable cutting out elements, you go ahead and do it your way. So I'm just going to finish off this last petal. Okay, so there's my flower. Okay, so you can see it's going to start coming together like that. Now let's go ahead and do our leaves. I forgot to do the leaves. So with my old olive, and I only colored in on mine the darker leaf. I left the stamped off leaf uh, muted. So some of these flowers have full color, and some of them are just left with the vanilla. So that's a nice contrast in the project. Not everything has to be shaded in all the time. Okay, and see I went outside my line right there, so just go ahead and get your color lifter. You can just go ahead and pull up some of that extra color. Okay, so there is all of that. Now, here is my element. So I've got my colored in background. I've got my flower. Oh, okay. So I'm using it, like I said, I'm using my twig punch. And I'm going to create two copper foil elements. One, two. Okay. So those will go on. I've got my tag. And now I just have this twine, it's linen thread actually, wrapped around. So let's go ahead and do the linen thread next. So here is how I attached my linen thread. I know it's going across the body of the card for our focal point here, so I'm just putting down two glue dots. Then I'm going to take the end of my thread, I'm just going to stick it in there, stick it down, and now I'm just going to wrap. I wrapped it about four or five times, so as thick as you want your wrap to be. And then I just bring it back, stick it into those glue dots to finish it off, and give it a trim. Okay, so now I've got that textured element in there. Now we can go ahead and add our twigs. I'm going to put those on glue dots, put them right on the end. Okay, pull those up. I'm going to have one go off this direction and one go off in the opposite direction. Just like that. I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of my sentiment tag here. Give that a little bit of lift. One. Two. And our sentiment tag is going to go ahead and hide where those twigs don't come together, and that's just fine. So, here's my sentiment, and then we've got that flower to stick in there. I'm just going to go ahead and put that on the glue dot as well. Slide that in back here. So now I've recreated my focal point. Okay. Now one thing, I've got that overlapping and that's going to be a problem. So 
I'm going to go ahead and pull this apart gently. And I'm just going to try to reposition that dimensional inside my circle. Okay. You can pull them apart, but be gentle. All right, so now how am I going to attach this to my laser cut card, right? I can't put snail on it. I can't put glue dots on it. I can't. What am I going to do, right? I could do a little tiny liquid glue, but that's not going to be great. So what I decided to do was add another circle on the inside, and that's where I added my second sediment. So let's go ahead and stamp it first. Let's see, I need my memento ink back. So I'm going to stamp this right in the center. Okay, so the idea is we're going to put one on the inside and put one on the outside and they're going to marry up to each other and they're going to cover up the adhesive. Okay, so at this point you could use whatever adhesive you want to use. I did use dimensionals, so I'm going to go ahead and use dimensionals again. So here's my card. So I put a strip of dimensionals across the center here on this one. Pull that up. Now, they are sticky and this is open, so be careful. I'm just going to lightly position this where I want it to be. Okay, remember we want all of our elements inside the frame of the card. Now I'm going to flip that over. Okay, and I'm going to kind of give that a press in. Now I'm adding two dimensionals on the inside of the card. Okay, kind of opposite. And now I take my second circle and I'm just going to piece it like a puzzle piece on like that. So there we go. I've got my front on, right? And I've got my inside and I've got a beautiful card to send. Now, if you're going to stamp your card, you should stamp your envelope. I always say that, right? So let's just add kind of a spray of flowers on here. I'm just going to go right back and use stamps I've already cut out. There we go. It all ties into our card. And there we did it. We cased the card directly from the catalog. So if I can do it, you can do it. Remember these instructions will be on my blog. They'll also be on my show and tell newsletter with the link to the video so you can find them later on. And I hope you enjoyed our show and tell for today. All right, everybody. Lots of information below, including the hostess code and the uh, visit the blog so you can see the card candy and the challenges going on this month. You're welcome to play in those, and I hope you do some fun stamping. Alright, until next time. Bye-bye.